all the spoilers, tell you the movie. And then next week, I will show you the ending. And then hopefully the all everything we say today was probably going to be 100% true. Exactly like it. And then I'll show you the ending and the other credit scenes next week. That's how it goes. The movie we know by the trailer starts with Deadpool living a new life where he is no longer Deadpool. And instead he is a car salesman working and shit. And somehow he is depressed. Anthony Windham, thank you for being here, you son of a bitch. Cheers! <laughs> I had to do it for these assholes because he went to work and shit and came back. Hit it for him. Um, yeah. Anyways, Deadpool lives a new life. You're just in time for the spoilers, Wyndham. Deadpool is living a new life as a salesman selling cars, but somehow he still misses being a superhero and shit. Anyways, he goes home and they throw a surprise party for him, all of his friends and, and shit. And everyone's there, the X-Men, Yu-Gi-Oh! And Negasonic, uh, T, you know, whatever. And Japinder and the, the fucking Colossus and the Rapist. And and his uh, Vanessa's there, but Vanessa's not his girlfriend this time around. She is actually, uh, she has another boyfriend. I don't know if it's that guy with the beard, that big guy. Um, but she has another boyfriend, but somehow she's still friends with him. So that's why she showed up. And he's trying to be all cool about it, you know, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, he says, you know what? My life's not perfect and, you know, I don't even have my girlfriend anymore and I miss being a superhero. But you know what? I'm happy and everything's everything's great. Everything's perfect. Everything's great. And he's happy and he gives thanks for everything. When all of a sudden the TVA show up and we know this already. The fucking TVA shows up and they take him away. And they fucking basically tell him, hey, this is the deal. There is a multiverse and shit. And there's universes. And every universe has an anchor. That's what we call them. And when the anchor dies, that universe just dies along with it. It starts disintegrating and it dies. And the anchor in your universe was a guy named Logan. The Wolverine. And he died in that movie that takes place in the future. I don't know where the Deadpool movie takes place, but whatever the fuck. And Logan died. Because Logan died, your universe is slowly dying. And it's going to disintegrate. And you and all your friends and everyone's going to die. But Deadpool, you are special. And we like you. And we need your abilities because of something that's going on in the main timeline. The MCU. So we're going to give you a choice. You can either go back to your universe with your friends and your family. And die with it. Because it's going to die. Because Wolverine is dead, and he's the one that holds it together. Or, you can join the TVA, we'll send you to the MCU, and you can fucking take your rifle place where you belong and use your abilities to help us. And, uh, and that's where you get him, and he goes all like, oh, I'm Marvel Jesus, and yes, I'll do it, he says. And so they give him a new suit and new equipment, and he's all happy and shit. But, he's only pretending because he really wants to save his his fucking you know his his friends he's he even takes out a picture at one point in the movie we saw it in the trailer where he tells wolverine you see this picture there's only nine people in this these nine people are my whole fucking world but i, I but i but i need to save them you know so that's all he wants to do so he steals one of their devices and starts jumping universes to try to find a wolverine cuz the idiot doesn't understand quite yet so he starts jumping, looking for Wolverines. And the first place he goes to is he goes where Wolverine died, where Logan died, because he doesn't know Logan died. And he goes and he digs up the grave and he finds Logan's corpse. And that stick, that's the one that was impaled through his body. He's going to find Logan's corpse and it's all deceased. And uh, all the bones are adamantium and his clothes are in it. And the TVA will get there because they're chasing after him. And he's going to start fighting them and killing them. And eventually he's going to rip. I imagine, because they didn't explain it how. But I imagine he's going to rip Wolverine's arm off. Because they're adamantium bones. And he's going to use them to fight the TVA. Because they say he uses Logan's body, his dead body, to fight the TVA, his bones. 
So I think he rips Logan's arms off because they're just adamantium bones and he starts using them like swords. Uh, and he fights the TVAs with fucking Logan's dead body. And then he escapes into another universe. And he says, uh, these are the variants that he meets. He meets, and it's not uh, Daniel Radcliffe, and it's not Tagger Egerton. He meets Hugh Jackman, CGI'd to be five foot four, and it's Patch, the one with the patch, the eye patch, and he's there at a pool table. He meets him, and basically, Deadpool is jumping from universe to universe, looking for the perfect Wolverine to take back to his universe, because he's an idiot and he thinks that if he takes all he needs to do is take a Wolverine back to his universe and replace the one who died. And then his universe won't die. The dumbass. So he's jumping from universe to universe trying to look for the perfect one. He goes to another universe and he fe they say it's a comic accurate Logan, old man Logan. I don't know if that means it's uh, Hugh Jackman de-aged to be old man Logan, which I imagine that's probably what it is. But they say it's comic accurate, so it'll look like this. White hair, short hair, fucking old like that. Then they go to another universe, and there's like a 90s glam rock. Wolverine. It says he's not wearing, he's wearing like black and yellow. But it says he has long hair, like he's like, he, like a rock star or something. But it looks crazy. And then Deadpool's all like, no, I don't like you. And so then Deadpool goes to another universe, and he sees a Wolverine on a cross, crucified like that. Like in the comic books. Um... And then the next universe he goes to, we finally get it, which is what everyone is excited about. But we get Wolverine wearing the yellow and brown suit, and he's about to fight the Hulk. Now, that shit that you hear in the trailer, where Deadpool's all like, wait, everyone's been waiting decades for this fight. That dialogue is not when he's talk when he's fighting Sabretooth. That dialogue, Deadpool is saying it when he's about to see this fight. When he's about to see Wolverine versus Hulk. So I don't know how much of this fight we're actually going to see. But something tells me it's like just them running at each other. And then because the TVA is chasing Deadpool. Deadpool jumps into another universe. So it's just going to be a tease. I don't think we're going to see an actual Wolverine versus Hulk fight. They say the Hulk looks like Ruffalo's Hulk. But either way, it's in another universe, so it doesn't fucking matter. And it's just a fucking bullshit cameo what it looks like it's going to be. Um, so I don't know. It might be good. It might be bad. I don't know. Whatever. It might be a few seconds. He finally runs into the Logan that we see in the trailer. The drunk one. And uh, they say that that Logan is actually wearing... The suit, the yellow suit, underneath his clothes, the clothes you see in the trailer at the bar, that he has that, he just rips his clothes off and he has that underneath. Um, you saw in the new trailer where Logan explains already, the new trailer explains it. Logan tells that the reason why he wears the suit is because when he was an X-Men, he refused to wear it because he thought it looked stupid. And now that all the X-Men are dead, he, wear, he, never, he doesn't want to ever take it off. So Deadpool takes his asshole back to the TVA and tells the TVA, because he's an idiot. Here, I found the perfect Wolverine. Let me take him back to my universe, and then everything's fixed. I, no one has to die. The TVA gets pissed, and he says, you know what? You're a fucking idiot. And we just chased you through universes. It killed a bunch of our agents. And you don't even understand how this all works. That's not how it works. You can't just take another Wolverine and he's going to replace the other one. You're, that's it. Your universe is going to die and there's nothing you can do about it, you fucking dumbass. And then he gets mad and they prune him, which is they zap him with that stick. They zap both of them. And shit. And they both get zapped into the void, which we've already seen. And in the void, they're going to both... Wolverine's pissed at Deadpool. He's like, you idiot. You took me away from my universe and you brought me here. And now we're in this fucking wasteland. And that's when they first start fighting in the trailer. That they're fighting each other. Because Wolverine is mad. You fucked my life up. I don't even know who you are. So he's mad and he fights them. But then they run into these assholes. They run into Sabretooth. And Wolverine kills Sabretooth. He chops his head off. As we can see here in the fucking shit. And the other guys that they run into. Is fucking Pyro. And, uh, and Toad. And Juggernaut. 
Juggernaut is the first picture. It looks really blurry, but it's going to be Juggernaut. But it's not going to be the actor because he said he didn't agree to it. So it's going to be another variant that looks very similar. There's going to be a Lady Deathstrike variant that looks very similar to the actress, but she's not. She's going to be like Mexican. She's not going to be Asian and shit. But these guys are the bad guys. And they're going to capture them and take them prisoners to Cassandra Nova. Uh, which, of course, we've already seen. And it's uh, Professor Xavier's sister. I don't know how, uh, if this is going to be like the comic books. But in the comic books, it's Professor Xavier's sister that was never supposed to be born. It was a fetus that was died in the wound and then grew. The fetus was flushed down the toilet and then mutated over the years and grew into this. Oh, it's a stupid, stupid ass. The comic book was stupid. And I, I'm pretty sure it won't be. It'll just be Professor Xavier girl from another universe. Hopefully that's the easiest explanation they can do. Keep it simple. Professor X girl from another universe. Now she's here and she, her, she along with these bad guys are the only surviving here and this is her gang here's something that just came out today is that she is going to have a sling ring a doctor strange sling ring which is why we see portals opening that sling ring is going to have a time stone and a reality stone on it holy shit and cheers to tim ends for being here too <laughs> Live. You motherfuckers. Cassandra Nova with two infinity stones and a sling ring. Now I thought, because there was people opening portals, and the original uh spoilers was that Algamato, which is the very first sorcerer supreme, probably from another universe, was going to be in here and using this. But now I guess it's gonna be this little girl. Professor Xavier. So she has the sling ring with two infinity stones in it. Uh, so she's really powerful, I guess. What her plan is... This is really vague. Because nobody has seen the movie. They've only seen the first 30 minutes. And the only thing we can do is guess. From the new trailer, we see this. And this is the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what this is. She's standing in front of some machine... And the machine is doing all this spaghetti stuff that we saw in the Loki show when the universe is dissolving or ending. So, this is what the current rumors are saying, is that in the void, in the wasteland, there is a train station that's there. Because, you know, everything falls there. There's weird stuff in that desert. But there's a train station, and in that train station, there's this thing. In the train station, whatever this thing is. And it's basically like a gateway or a way to... The train station is a door from the TVA to go in to, the, to this place if they need to, and then get out. It's basically a way in and out of the TVA. A secret way. And I guess she finds it and is trying to get out. Or wants to get out. Everybody wants to get out of this place. Because no one belongs in there. They're all from other universes. So that's what's happening. And I think that's her plan. And this is probably the only thing we're seeing of it. Um, we don't know how it's going to end. But we know what the final battle is. The final battle. Uh, and Oh, I'm, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Sorry. We're doing the spoilers. I have to go in order. So we don't know her plan. But eventually Logan and Deadpool will escape their compound the first time. They'll get away. And when they get away, they'll start meeting other people and they meet Deadpool variants. We already saw this Ryan Reynolds with long hair. He looks like a samurai and shit. And, and his face is normal. But, but they're also going to meet this other fucking vi variants. They're going to meet fucking Kidpool, Baby Deadpool, Headpool, and the stupid little dog. And those are going to be the main ones that are going to follow them around. These, these fucking four dumbasses. There's going to be the, the kid, the baby, the flying head, and the dog. They'll be the main ones that are following them around. 
And then eventually within the wasteland, they will meet the Resistance. And they also showed it in the trailer, and it's no longer a spoiler since they showed it in the trailer. But Daffy and King Keen will be X-23, and she comes back, and she's older. We will see Chris Evans, uh, Human Torch, Wesley Snipes, Blade, Jennifer Gardner's Elektra, and Chad and Tatum as Gambit. And they will have a resistance, and they're the only ones left. And they will be joined by Deadpool, Logan, and those other four Deadpool, dumbass Deadpools that we saw. I think the one with the long hair probably dies. That's why he's not in any of the promotion shit. He probably dies right away. He looks too clean. He doesn't even have a scarred face. So he probably dies or something. And that's why he's not there. But this is the resistance. This and the Deadpool, the small little Deadpool variants. And uh, there's going to be a story that they tell around the campfire. And we already saw Wolverine sitting in the campfire telling them that he's not a hero. Um, but the story is going to be a flashback. And I don't know if this flashback will have cameos. But the flashback is going to be about a story about how Quicksilver, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Ben Affleck's Daredevil, and the first Punisher from the first movie, they all went to go fight Cassandra Nova and the bad guys, and they never came back. Oh, I, I, think, I think they'll have cameos. I mean, it makes no sense for them to just CGI or show the back of their heads or something. I think, you know, I think at the very least, they should, they'll probably be cameos. There's so many rumors about Affleck being in this. I think it would make sense that they would all do this for a cameo. Why not? You need a paycheck. So it's a few thousand dollars, pussies. But anyways, eventually the final battle is in that street where we see Logan with the ripped sleeves and Deadpool walking down the street and shit by them by themselves. And then they also get pushed. Cassandra pushes them through the fucking through the store or whatever. But backup finally arrives. I'm guessing. I'm guessing they're all going to die. All The resistance is all going to die. All these characters, all these cameos, they're all going to die. Let's be honest. The only two people that are going to survive this movie is Deadpool and Wolverine. That's it. All these badass cameos, we're, they're not going to come out anymore. This is a one shot. Um, but after these guys are dead and it's just Deadpool and Logan trying to fight Cassandra in the street... They don't have any backup and it's just them. I don't know who, but somebody's going to steal the the sling ring from this chick and go get backup. It's going to be one of the Deadpools. Kidpool, the dog maybe. Somebody will leave and when they come back, they will open the portals and all these Deadpools, just like an Endgame, all these Deadpools are going to come out. There's Lady Deadpool and Lady Deadpool, they say, will be... Blake Lively, but she'll never take her mask off. You'll just, if you if you know what she sounds like, you know it will be her. It will be her, and all these Deadpools will come out. And here's an image that was screenshot that's all pixelated, but here it is. All the Deadpools are there, and it's in the street where I told you where the final battle takes place. I don't know what universe they're at, but they're definitely not in the wasteland anymore at this point. And they're all going to fight Cassandra Nova. I'm pretty sure all these Deadpools are going to die. I'm pretty sure. They did say that, uh, like I said, Blake Lively is going to be Lady Deadpool. It's not Taylor Swift. Uh, another one they said that is coming out. Oh, we talked about this earlier, which is fucking funny. But Cowboy Deadpool, which is seen, uh, is actually seen right over here. Uh, uh, it's actually seen on, the, on these fucking, uh, you see it right there on the right side. But Cowboy Deadpool will be played by none other than, all right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey is going to be Cowboy Deadpool, they say. Of course, none of these celebrities, probably a lot of celebrities are going to be Deadpool, but none of them will take their masks off. You'll just have to be smart and fucking see if you can recognize the voices is the way it's going to be. Um, And then, it's about all we know. We don't know how it ends. Obviously, they're going to stop Cassandra Nova. Um, I don't know. I guess Deadpool and Wolverine end up in the TVA. 
and the TVA says, well, you guys really are heroes, and you save the day, and I guess we, we will, we'll, we'll put you in the MCU, or whatever. I don't know. They say the end of credit scenes has nothing to do with another movie or, or the next continuation. Nothing. Uh, we don't know the spoilers of how it's going to end. No one has seen the ending. No one has seen this movie. This is the first time Marvel has kept a lot of the spoilers shut. I will tell you one thing. We have seen a lot of the movie. And I think everything I've told you is about 90% correct. And that's basically the whole movie. Except for the ending. We don't know how it's going to end. But that's ba that's basically the whole movie, man. And like I said, everyone's going to die. Logan and Wolverine will be the only ones that aren't dead. At one point, they will go back to the TVA. And that guy, the main guy or whatever, Mr. Paradox, the one who, t who enlists Deadpool to begin with, he's all beat up. So something happens at the TVA as well. Uh, we don't know how it ends or how this is going to connect to Secret Wars or anything. But if next Saturday's announcement is real, what we said earlier, that Kevin Feige is about to announce Avengers vs. X-Men, that that means that this movie might end leading into that. Instead of... Because he said they're going to pivot. He's no longer going to be Kang. They're saying they're going to go to Avengers vs. X-Men. And if that's the truth, this movie might end pivoting to that shit. Oh my god. I'm excited for this. I'll watch it Thursday. I ain't paying for it. You know, I'm going to download it. And next Friday, I'll show you everything that I possibly can on here without getting banned i'll show you the end of credit scenes the endings all the shit you have not seen in the trailers i'll show it to you hey if you like this kind of content how about giving this a like and a subscribe and if you want to watch the full show click on the link on the right or check the description